Hi, everybody. My name is Andrew, and I'm a second year MBA student at the University of Southern California Marshall School of Business. For my final data analytics project, we decided to deconstruct the Billboard Hot 100 to see if we could predict the likelihood of a song ending up on the Billboard charts. We needed to pull from very specific data sources, and the two data sources that we primarily used, the music ID for the revenue capabilities and the Spotify API for the compositional elements of a song. On the left, we have Music ID's revenue data set, which gives us an indication of how much a song has earned that has ended up on the Billboard Hot 100. On the right, we have Spotify's API, which gives us an indication of whether or not a song is explicit, how danceable is it, what is the duration, what is the acousticness. So these two data sets combined give us an indication of not only what songs are ending up on the Billboard Hot 100, but why and what we can expect in terms of earnings. So the agenda for today is to go over some of our analysis, some of the models that we put together, and provide some insight and recommendations as to what the industry, what music industry professionals can do with the power of data by using Spotify's API and Music ID's revenue data set. What we have here is our analysis variables. Our Y variable is our song success, followed by our X variables given to us by the Spotify API again. Within these charts, we can see what is the density, how concentrated are specific X variables in predicting our Y variable, whether or not a song is gonna end up on the Billboard Hot 100. As we can see, acousticness is very skewed to the left and loudness is very skewed to the right. However, duration is pretty concentrated in one area. So if you want to have a song that's on the Billboard Hot 100, the likelihood of of maybe a 10 minute song ending up on Billboard's Hot 100 is unlikely as we can see here. Most of the songs that historically are between a very specific range. This is another analysis that we put together, our decision trees, which give us a breakdown of the very specific X variables that are leading to our song success. Here we have business insights. Over time, we can see year over year, our songs that are on the Billboard Hot 100 are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. We start off in 1999, they get a, bit, a little bit longer in 2001, but by 2019, something very interesting happens. It takes a very sharp decline. That makes sense because a lot of songs that are being released on TikTok are very, very short today, and those songs are counted within the Billboard Hot 100. We have Little Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus featured. The song length duration is two minutes and 43 seconds. In comparison to maybe in 2003, 2001, we're having a duration of near four minutes and 20 seconds within a 20 year time frame. Also, what we had noticed is the frequency of features within a given track. As I had mentioned, the songs are getting shorter and shorter. That is because of two things, because of the method of consumption and the way that royalties are calculated. So on streaming platforms, it, all it takes is 30 seconds to equal a unit of sale. Whereas historically with CDs, it would be a unit. You would go and buy either that EP, that CD, maybe a vinyl, and that would count as a unit of sale. However, now a unit of sale in terms of streaming is 30 seconds. Songs, because they're being consumed on TikTok and because of the nature of the business model, we're seeing the songs get shorter and shorter. This is a business case on Tap In. Based on the number of unit of sales, Tap In should have generated around 800 $160,000 and I have to mention was only two minutes and 19 seconds long. The increase of features on a given song also drives up the likelihood of a song ending up on the Billboard Hot 100. So we have Sweetie as a primary artist and then we have a sample by Too Short, which is a very popular song in the 2000s. And then we also have Post Malone, The Baby, and Jack Harlow, all very popular artists. And what I think is very interesting here is that we have a female artist, rapper, that's featuring all men as her features, again, driving up the likelihood of a song's ability to chart on Billboard Hot 100. Lastly, our recommendations. Our recommendations are to consider within the data where the songs are are becoming popular. So if you have a song with the intention of becoming popular on TikTok, 
then consider that 15 second slot to shorten it. Also, the unit of sale that's necessary for streaming platforms is 30 seconds. Using data to closely align with songs based on consumption by platform is our major insight and takeaway here. Duration is a byproduct of where the songs are being consumed. Thank you very much for attending my presentation. I hope you guys are all well.